guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry it took me forever to get this video up. I've been having a few computer issues as of lately. I ended up having to refilm this video all over again. So this is my second attempt at filming this video. And um, yeah, hopefully it's not a hot mess. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. I started off priming my eyes as usual using the P. Louise Rumor Base, a number four. So I'm gonna use that to prime my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and carve underneath my brows and just spread that all over my eyes and make sure to pat it in really well so that way it can start to set. Then once the eyes are primed, I'm going to go ahead and start applying my first eyeshadow. I'm using Bombshell Cosmetics Candylicious palette, and with the Morphe M506, I'm going to be using the shade Blueberry and popping that into the crease for our first color. So next I'm going to go in with some Fenty Beauty blotting powder. I'm going to use this to set the primer on the edges of the first shadow that we applied. So that way when we apply our second shadow, it's much easier for me to get those really smooth diffuse edges. Then going into the Carnival palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics in collaboration with Stacey Marie, I'm going to use the shade Mint and then take that on another clean Morphe M506 brush and use that to diffuse the edges of that last shade that we used. The next color I'm using is the shade Mood, which is a deeper like navy type of color. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply that directly onto the crease. But once I go ahead and apply that color, I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of blueberry and blend out the edges of that as well. I'm then going to take the shade Black Sugar from the Candylicious palette and I'm going to use that to deepen up the crease even more. I didn't want to go too ham with this color so I used a Morphe M507. This brush is slightly more tapered so it's going to give me a lot more control as to like where I want it to be placed but it's still fluffy enough where I can blend the color at the same time. I'm going to be using a lighter colored base to cut my crease. So I wanted to make sure that it didn't blend in with that black eyeshadow that we just applied. So using a little bit of eye makeup remover, I'm using Lancome's. I'm going to take a brush and some Q-tips and just wipe away any eyeshadow and product on the lid space. That way the black doesn't mix in with the primer that I'm going to be using next. I picked up this idea from Rocio Seja here on YouTube. She's so amazing. And when I saw her do this trick on one of her tutorials, I thought it was freaking genius. So yeah, that's what I'm pretty much doing right here and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting my crease using a mixture of two bases from P. Louise. This is Bang and Blue and Hint of Mint and since the eyeshadow shape is so round I'm pretty much gonna follow that for my cut crease. Then once the crease is cut and the product is there I'm gonna use a fluffier brush to pat the primer in and pick up any excess product that I may have applied so it's not too much on the lid. I'm going to do a little bit of blending on the outer corners, but nothing too serious because we are going to be doing a liner. So I'm taking a little bit of Mood, which is that deeper navy shade. And with that same brush that I used to apply it onto the crease, I'm going to add some onto the outer corner to blend out the edges of that cut crease that we just did. I'm also going to take black sugar and I'm going to press that onto the outer corner as well.
Then for the lid, I'm gonna be using Peaches Makeup Pigment in the shade Double Denim. This is a really pretty like brighter blue type of color. So this is gonna act as kind of like a base for the glitter that we're gonna apply as well. I wanted to have a kind of sparklier base behind the glitter. So I'm just gonna pack that in using a flat brush. I definitely wanted to add a liner for this look. So I'm using my favorite gel liner from Pretty Vulgar and I'm pretty much gonna create a liner all the way from about like maybe like a third into the cut crease, like on the outer corner, all the way into the inner corner of the eye. And the outer edge of your liner should basically kind of blend into the outer corner of your cut crease. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Once I'm done applying my liner, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of extra black shadow and make sure the outer corner of it is pretty much blended into the crease colors that we applied before. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start applying my glitter. The glue that I'm using is from Violet Voss and the glitter is from Mermaid Scales. This one is in the shade Sapphire. When working with glitter, it's better to work in smaller sections so that way you get a nice even layer across the lid. I'm using a small little lip brush for this so that way I can get really close to the liner and the cut crease. To prep my lashes, I'm gonna be using Lancome's Monsieur Big Mascara, and then I'm gonna apply my falsies right after. The lashes that I'm using today are from Lily Lashes, and these are in the style Sydney. I'm gonna use a pair of tweezers to pop those babies on, and with my lash curlers, I'm gonna press my falsies and my natural lashes together so there's no gap in between. For the skin today, I wanted to use some new products that I got from Wet n Wild. The first two are from their Rebel Rose collection, so I'm using their Rose Toner. I'm going to spritz that all over and just make sure to fan it down so it's nice and dry. Then to prime the skin, I'm going to be using the Rose Primer Serum. I feel like these two products together, it made my skin feel really refreshed, and I love how it felt underneath my foundation, so I'll probably use these two more often. So once my skin is dry again, I'm going to go in with some Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer, and I'm only going to place this on the areas where I'm more oily or where I have larger pores. So for me, that's my forehead, cheeks, nose, and chin. I love adding some liquid highlighter underneath my foundation, so I'm also gonna use OPV Beauty's liquid highlighters. I'm doing a mixture of two colors. One is liquid gold and one is either ray of light or starlight. I'm gonna make sure to put it in the description box for you though. But it's just this really like pretty gold color. You can probably use any gold highlight liquid highlighter. And I'm gonna place that on all the areas where I, I would typically add powder highlights. So from my forehead, cheekbones, on my chin, on my nose, and then I'm gonna move on to foundation. I'm using L'Oreal's new fresh wear foundation. This one is in the shade 510. I'm going to buff that in using a Morphe M439. I totally forgot how awesome this brush is. I remember like a while back, everyone was talking about how amazing this brush was to apply foundation and I hadn't used it in a really long time, but I'm definitely going to start using it again because I love how it kind of made my foundation look. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to start adding some concealer. I used a mixture of two different concealers today. One is from NARS and then I went ahead and used the L'Oreal one. The NARS NARS one is a lot more yellow, so I used it first to kind of correct underneath the eyes and give you that extra bit of brightness. And then the L'Oreal one, I basically used to highlight as I normally would.
So now I wanna go ahead and set all the areas that I add a concealer. So I'm using a new powder from CoverGirl. This is from their full spectrum line. This powder comes in a variety of different shades. You can kind of use one for everything. This one is slightly lighter than my skin tone. So it's perfect to set all the areas that I want to highlight. And the coverage of this powder isn't super heavy. So it's gonna be really comfortable underneath the eyes. Right before I add my bronzer, I'm gonna use a little bit of Too Faced Banana Setting Powder and apply some underneath the eyes as well, just for a little bit of extra brightness. And I'm making sure to only focus this really, really close to the under eyes, kind of around the same area where I applied that NARS concealer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add my bronzer. I'm using that same CoverGirl powder that I used to set the under eyes, but this one is in a deeper shade. So I'm gonna use this to bronze. I'm gonna place this on all the areas where I want to kind of give myself more color. So for me, that's on my forehead. I like to add some on my cheekbones, a little bit underneath my nose to kind of give it a more lifted look. And I also added some along the edges of my lips to give them like more of a contoured look. It looks kind of weird right now, but once I apply like all my lip products, it'll all come together. I wanna go ahead and finish up my eye look now. So I'm basically gonna use all the colors that I went in with the crease on the lower lash line. I'm going from lightest to darkest. So I'm gonna take blueberry first and buff that into the lash line using a Morphe M507. I'm then gonna go in with the shade Mood, which is that deeper navy color and apply that onto the lower lash line next. I'm using a smaller brush because I want this color to be more precise. We've got a lot of dark colors going on in this area, so I don't wanna go too, too smoky with it. So smaller brushes are definitely better for this step. Then with a little bit of black, I'm gonna add that as well and then use the same brush that I used to apply Mood and just make sure it's really well blended into all the other shades that we applied. For the waterline, I'm using the P. Louise base in the shade Hint of Mint. And with a flat liner brush, I'm gonna add that there to kind of give it an extra pop of color. Then before I add some mascara on my lower lashes, I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. And while it's drying, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm using my trusty Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. I've been loving a more sculpted brow lately, so I'm gonna do a line on the top, a line on the bottom, and then just create some brow hairs in between to fill in any sparse areas. Then once my brows are filled in, I'm gonna use a small amount of Anastasia's clear brow gel just to make sure my brows don't move anywhere throughout the day. Then to set everything, I'm gonna go in with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm gonna spritz that all over and then use my fan to dry it down before I go in with some highlight. 
For highlighter, I'm using Anastasia's Dream Glow Kit and I'm taking the shade Unicorn and I'm applying this on all the areas that I basically highlight. So you guys know the deal. I'm just gonna add this on the inner corners as well. It's so funny because when I was using this glow kit, I remember getting it and just being so excited to finally be like a part of like the colored highlighter trend <laughs> because it seemed like at that point, any colored highlighter that I tried just seemed to have like this really odd white cast that just was like not complimentary to people that have like melanin and deeper skin complexions. Just using it today made me like fall in love with it all over again. But anyways, so after I'm done highlighting, I'm gonna go ahead and add some lip liner. I'm using Max Lip Pencil in the shade Plum to line my lips because we're gonna be doing like more of like a pinky purpley lip today. I'm also gonna use a little bit of ColourPop's Pitch Lip Pencil and add this just on the outermost edge of my lip on my cupid's bow and on the center of my lower lip. This is gonna create a little bit of a shadow to create that illusion of a more fuller lip. Then to fill them in, I'm gonna be using a Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Child Star. This color has more of a pinky type of tint, so it's gonna blend really smoothly into that lip liner. And of course, I gotta add some lip gloss. This one is from JD Glow Cosmetics. The name is like right on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember it, so I'm gonna make sure to put it down in the description box. But that pretty much completes this look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel too for more makeup looks and click that little notification bell that just allows you to get a notification anytime I upload to my channel so that way you guys can be like the first ones here <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoyed this look thank you again for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one